some doctrine that have absolutely nothing to do with the scripture, and they will grab it and eat it up and run with it, won't they? Yes, sir. It's been the nature of this people all along. They ain't never changed. Go ahead and read on. But harden their necks, like to the neck of their fathers, that did not believe in the Lord their God. Go ahead and read. And they rejected his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers, uh -huh. and, he te and his testimonies, which he testified against them. Go ahead. And they followed vanity and became vain, and went after the heathens that were round about them, uh -huh. concerning whom the Lord had charged them that they should not do like them. Go ahead. And they left all the commandments of the Lord their God and made them molten images, even two calves, uh -huh. and made a grove and worshipped all the hosts of heaven and served Baal. Go ahead. And they caused their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire. And it, you know, went so far even to sacrifice your children now. That what pass through the fire mean. You offer up your children as a sacrifice. They even went that far. Go ahead and read on. And used divination and enchantments uh -huh. and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of the Lord. Go ahead. To provoke him to anger. Go ahead. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them from out of his sight. Mm -hmm. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. So now he removed the ten tribes. He just removed them out of his sight and nobody was left but Judah. Go ahead and read a little bit more. Also Judah kept not the commandments of the Lord their God. Well, you know, Judah, they turned around, they did the same thing, but God had to keep them around for a while anyway. But we're going to find out eventually they messed up to the point that he kicked them out as well. Go ahead, continue to read. But walked in the statues of Israel which they made. Go ahead. And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them and delivered them into the hands of spoilers until he had cast them out of his sight. Go ahead. For he rent Israel from the house of David, uh -huh. and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king. And Jeroboam drave Israel from following the Lord, Go ahead. and made them sin a great sin. Read on. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. Uh -huh. They departed not from them, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, Go ahead, read. as he had said by all his servants the prophets. Uh -huh. So was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria until this day. Now, when it, when it said Israel was done what to? They was carried away by the Assyrians, weren't they? Yes, now, I want, you to, I want you to read the caption under that uh, picture there before I show it to them. Okay. Plate 1A. Uh -huh. Jewish prisoners taken captive in Palestine by the Assyrians, 700 B.C. Now, it said 700 B.C. Jewish prisoners taken captive. This is by the Assyrians, what you just read here. What does that look like to you? You know how Israel like to wear the cornrows? You understand what I'm saying? Who does that look like to you? And even look at the features there. You don't, look, you don't see no color. Just look at the features there. And look at, you know, the hairstyle and the nose and the lips and all of that stuff. You know who that is. <laughs> you need to tell you who that is. You know who it is. So now, the, this was the ten tribes of, of the Israelites here. Yes, they were taken captive. This was around 700 or so. B.C. that they were taken captive. That left Judah, didn't it? Yes, let's go to uh, let's go now to uh, 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 let's go now to uh, Second Chronicles chapter thirty-six. Ain't that what the Lord said He's gonna do? You know, if you get in the land and you mess up, I'm gonna have Him come take you out. Captain. Didn't He say He's gonna do that? Yes, sir. Well, the only thing He did was kept His word. You say, well, why He do that to Israel? Because Israel agreed to keep the covenant. You know, when the Lord brought the covenant to Israel, all Israel had to do say, you know, I don't think I want no part of this. But because they agreed, now there has, a, there has been a covenant made, and Israel must live up to the covenant. But they chose not to. Because the Lord told them what he was going to do to them if they didn't obey the covenant, didn't he? Yes, sir. He said, I'm going to have you, I'm going to tap your cities, I'm going to tap your sanctuaries, and I'm going to send you into captivity. Didn't he say that? Yes, sir. So he, took, he sent the, 12, the ten tribes into captivity. Now here we have Judah left, right? This is Judah that we are reading about here. Let's go to uh, 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 2 Chronicles chapter 36 and begin reading at verse 11. This was the last king that Israel had. He was called Zedekiah. Start reading at verse 11. Go ahead and read. Zedekiah was one and 20 years old when he began to reign. Uh -huh. And reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. Go ahead. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord his God. Now that's like a broken record there. 
<laughs> so you go back and read the one before him. It said he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord God. Then you go back and read the one that was before him, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord God. Now this is the last king that Israel had, and what did he do? He did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord God, and not just him. I'm going to show you that the people did it. Even the priests did it as well. Go ahead and continue to read. And humbled not himself before Jeremiah the prophet, go ahead. speaking from the mouth of the Lord. Uh -huh. And he also rebelled against King Nebuchadnezzar who made him swear by God. Uh -huh. And he stiffened his neck and hardened his heart from turning unto the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead and read. Moreover, all the chief of the priests and the people transgressed very much all the abominations of the heathen. Wait a minute. He said, also, all the chief of the priests, they trans... Now, these are the people that was... These are the ones that were supposed to have been teaching the people the law. But he said, even they transgressed very much and, and they did all the things as the abomination of the heathen. Go ahead and read on. And polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. Now, this was that temple that the Lord had Solomon to build at. You know, it was a magnificent structure. There was gold everywhere. You know, you had gold donors, gold this, gold that, silver that. You know, didn't have much silver. Most of it was gold. Had to be the absolute finest. You understand what I'm saying? And that is what it was. It is even uh, stated in some history books that it was one of the seven wonders of the world when it stood. But what did Israel do? They went in there and they transgressed and they even served other gods in the temple that the Lord had Solomon to build for him to be served in. Go ahead and read on. And the Lord God of their father sent to them by his messengers, uh -huh. rising up beat times and sending, Go ahead. because he had passion on his people uh -huh. and on his dwelling place. Go ahead. But they mocked the messengers of God. This is what Israel did. They mocked the messengers of God. Go ahead and read on. And despised his words uh -huh. and misused his prophets. Go ahead. Until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Uh -huh. That there was no remedy. Till there was no And they oh, well, didn't push God to the limit now. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord, he was been long suffering. You know, he go, uh, Israel mess up. He send a prophet. You know, y'all straighten up. Get your act together. Straighten up, Israel. But he, he told you what they did to the prophets. They didn't pay the prophets no attention. So now, finally, the anger of the Lord arose till there was no remedy, and this is what he did. You remember what he said about the mouth of Moses, right? That if you know if you get in there and you mess up, I'm going to tap your sanctuary, I'm going to tap your cities, and I'm going to send you into captivity. Go ahead and read. Therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees. Therefore who brought upon them the king of the Chaldees? The Lord, the Lord brought upon them the king of the Chaldees. It didn't have nothing to do with the Chaldees. It had to do with God. God brought up on them the king of the Chaldees. Go ahead and read on. Who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their, of their sanctuary and had no compassion upon young man or maiden, uh -huh. old man or him that stooped for age. Go ahead. He gave them all into his hand. Go ahead. And all the vessels of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king and of his princes, and all these he brought to Babylon. Go ahead. And they burnt the house of God. And then they turned around and they burnt down the house of God. And what else did they do? Go ahead and read on. And break down the wall of Jerusalem. Uh huh. And burnt all the all the palaces thereof with fire, and destroyed all the goodly vessels thereof. So now they done tore down the house of God. They done burnt down the city. And look at what happened with the people. Go ahead and read on. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon. Then those that escaped of the sword, he carried them away to Babylon. And the captivity, in other words. Yes, so now, you know, he done tore up the sanctuary. He done tore up the city, and he done sent Israel into captivity yes, down into Babylon. Go ahead and read a little bit more. But they were servants to him and his sons until the reign of the kingdom of Persia. Uh-huh. To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath. Go ahead. For as long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbath to fulfill three score and ten years. Seventy years, in other words. So now, this is Judah here, isn't it? Yes, sir. Let's go, let's go to Daniel chapter 1. And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. And I'm going to show you uh, uh, some of the people that was among the captives that went down into Babylon. Daniel chapter 1. And we began reading at verse 1. Because we didn't bother to read it all. But if we had it backed up, we would have saw that Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem three times. Yes, you know, he came down one time. He took out so many, and he, he did so much uh, damage. Then he came a second time, and he took out so many. Then he came back the third time. That is the time that we just read about, and he destroyed the city 
and the sanctuary, and he took the remainder of them into captivity. But now this is the first wave here, and I'm going to show you who was among them. Start reading at Daniel chapter 1 and begin at verse 1. Daniel 1 and 1. Go ahead and read. In the third year of the reign of Je Jehoiakim, uh -huh. king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar.